Hello everyone, welcome to this Blender quick tip. Today I want to talk a bit about mask layers in Blender. First of all, let me delete the default cube and the lamp. And by pressing Alt R and Alt G, I move the camera, uh, Alt R, to the center and clear the rotation. Then I press R, X and 90 to rotate at 90 degrees. And by G, Y and Control, I can move it back. So with my camera in place, I press 0 to enter the camera view. Now as a quick example for mask layers, I will add a simple plane rotated by 90 degrees along the x-axis and take care of the material. I will give it a shadeless material simply because this renders pretty fast. And I will scale this up a little bit. And then I add by pressing Shift A another plane rotated by 90 degrees, give it another material and this one is going to be blue. Now if we render this we will see naturally the blue square and the red square. But right now, as you can see here, I hope you see these glitches. Because the planes are in the same place, that can sometimes lead to problems. So let's move with the blue one selected G, Y and move it forward a bit. Now there's a bit difference, uh, distance between the two planes and you should do that to avoid any problems. Now, how can we use mask layers? With the blue one selected, we press M and move it to the second layer. Select the second layer down here with shift left clicking to make sure it's still visible. And now up here in the second tab, the render layers tab, we modify our render layer. Right now it's set up to render all layers that we have. And by the way, if you don't have a layer selected here, it won't render out at all. So if we select it, both will be rendered into the same image. Now if I only select the first one and press F12 to render, we will only see the red square. And now comes the trick with mask layers. If we use the second layer as a mask layer, it will cut out the blue square out of the red one and we will see the background, in this case just a gray standard background. I could change this to green for instance. It's a pretty simple trick to cut out some parts of your image that you want to have transparent, but you should um, think about one thing. This mask layer will take into account the spatial relation between the objects. What I mean by this is right now we have the blue square in front of the red one. If we move it behind it and render then, it won't cut out anything because a mask layer will only cut out stuff that is behind the objects in the mask layer. Well, so far so good. And the practical thing about that is the mask layer, we can animate the objects of the mask layer to have a moving mask. Let me think of a quick example with the blue square selected. Let me add a modifier, no, a constraint. Copy rotation and let's say we just want to copy the Y rotation and invert it from this red plane. Now if we rotate the red plane, the blue one will rotate in the opposite direction. And if we were to create an animation like this, the mask we just created by creating a mask layer will automatically rotate in the opposite direction of our red square. That's all for now. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, happy blending!